Hey guys, Wagwan Wagwan, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome to the family. I am Shane Green and welcome to another vlog. But before we get into today's video though guys, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Hit that subscribe button, click that post notification bell so you can get informed as soon as I post a YouTube video. So I'll give you like uh, 30 seconds, 5 seconds to do so. Please subscribe guys, hit that subscribe button. Thank you. Also guys, please follow me on Instagram at I underscore am underscore Shane underscore green. So it's I am Shane green underscore between each word and follow my business page as well at Kings underscore apparel. Guys, this is a highly requested video because many of you have been asking me how to prepare for a US visa interview or my J1 visa interview. But to be clear, I have more experience with the J-1 visa than the regular visa uh, interview process. So today I will be talking about the J-1 visa uh, more than the regular visa because that's what I have the best knowledge about. But the tips that we will be providing can still be used for every visa process because they are just tips on how to prepare for your interview generally. So you'll be fine. Today's video will be a little different because I'll be featuring my friend Nastika Aliman. Make some noise for her guys. She will also be telling you about how to prepare for your interview. She'll be providing tips and she'll be sharing her experience as well. She has a good amount of experience as a J1 student so I think she can provide that much information. Let's get right into the video. Hi guys, so on and so on, ready for lift up out of the place, not true, that's right, okay. Now before we get too carried away, let me give you guys a proper introduction. My name is Nasika Aliman and today I'm going to be giving you guys some tips and tricks on how to ace that visa interview, right? That's what we're here for, so we're going to dive right into it. Now I will tell you, at the end of the day, it is still a 50-50, but these tips are guaranteed to be your best bet on how to get that approval you so eagerly need right so my first tip is going to be punctuality you have to be on time it's very important you booked that slot for a reason they're counting on you to show up on time you'll never know what will happen if you're late because one thing with jamaicans is we're never late for that interview so we don't know what happens if you're late you just don't want to be late you don't want to be that one odd bird okay show up on the time you booked 15 minutes earlier is okay five minutes earlier is okay exactly on time is okay don't be late that's it all right so that's the first one so guys be confident be confident i know say this is a youth visa interview i mean no say i did not look forward to this film entire life or you know you know have a bully but bang panic and i said i want to go for it and i want to get the experience and probably want to run off or something i don't know it's up to you but <laughs> I'm not asking the questions and we know say like it's a less formal interview setting so you are gonna get intimidated by what is happening around you because you might see your friend or somebody get turned down or something something I'm gonna probably make you nervous more than likely especially if this is the first time doing this sort of interview but the key thing is to remain confident remain relaxed remain poised they ask you a question be bold Shoulders back, chin up, answer the question confidently. But being confident includes speaking loudly, speaking clearly, breathing. You have to breathe, guys. Breathe, breathe. Maintain eye contact also. You'll be fine. You'll be fine, guys. Be confident and you'll be fine. Please make sure you have all your documents. Now, when we say document, we're not talking about no birth certificate. We're not talking about a TRNA national ID. Not for this. Mm -mm. We're talking about if you're a J1 student, we're talking about that DS form, we're talking about your transcript, we're talking about all the other documents your sponsor should have printed off and given to you in that nice brown envelope that you will hold proudly on your side until they ask for all the things inside of it, okay? So we're talking about all the documents that were given to you. They'll give you a list of what you need. You want to check to see you have all those documents, your passport size picture, all of that. The J1 program is not about making money or getting rich or getting money to pay tuition or all of that. 
You mentioned nothing about earning money or wanting to earn extra money or working a second job, third job, fourth job, fifth job. Guys, it's a cultural exchange program. So mention nothing about money. Even though we know say when they get the visa, when they go over there and work and everything, yeah, go get a second job or everything. You see me, but them don't want all of that information. And if you show them say you intend to just go over there to make money or just work, work and not participate for the purpose of the cultural exchange program, you will not get that visa. So don't go tell the people them say I want to go over for to go make money if you go pay a tuition or if you go buy one car or if you go buy house or start something. No, this is not the intention of the program. So don't mention nothing about money. The only thing about money that you should know is how much you will be earning per hour or per week. You want to be concise. Yeah, that's right. Nip it in the bud. Be exact with your answers, right? This is the time for you to not give away too much because sometimes you'll get too nervous. You give away way too much and it comes back around and bites you. You want to answer what has been asked, okay? So if they ask you, Nasika, do you have any family abroad? And I have family abroad. You want to be honest? Yes. Never. Nasika, do you have family abroad? Yes, I have my uncle, my cousin, my auntie in Florida. Blah, 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 blah. He didn't ask you all of that. He didn't ask you all of that. Answer what they ask. That's it. Don't give them too much more. Don't give them less. Just give them a yes or no answer. That's it. That way, they won't use anything you say against you. You know, you save yourself. You, you did answer. You just don't give them too much for them to use against you. That's important. Right? So you're on time. You have all your documents. And you're concise. Okay, my next tip to you guys is to be properly groomed. So this includes for the males having a proper haircut. If you have long hair, ensure that your hair is done. If you have beard or facial hair, ensure that it is groomed. You know, you just want to have that professional look. So when they see you, they, they take you seriously and, and believe that you actually want to be a part of the cultural exchange program. You want that visa. You know, they want to take you seriously, guys. So you can't turn up to the people in interview, chaka chaka. Um, disheveled and all of that. You have to be professional, have that look. You don't have to dress like formally. It's not that sort of interview. You don't have to go all out in jacket and tie and suit and all of that. No, you can wear, you can dress semi formally, formally because that's what I usually do. And for the females, you, you, you don't have to go all out either. You just want to have that that professional look another helpful tip would be for you to show that you have proof you need to have proof that you're here to stay that jamaica is your home you need to have proof that you have a life here that you have grounds here right now if you're a j1 student that proof is a university yeah if you're a j1 student the proof that you belong in Jamaica, that you have a life coming back to, because the idea is them don't want to get nobody in a visa and them run off. So you need to have proof that you're here, that your transcript, you need to be passionate about that degree you're studying, because now I think they even have a requirement for the GPA, right? So you need to have passion about what you're studying. This now, you can talk a little bit more about it. They ask you like, oh, I see you're studying journalism here. Why? Tell them you want to put on a cape and save the world through news reporting, all of that. Tell them all of that. Just tell them whatever they need to hear to show that you're passionate about what you're studying, you care about what you're studying, and you're coming back to study it after the summer, right? Yeah. You, know, you want to give that, this is a, if you're a J1 student, the, this is the summer work and travel program. I'm going there for the summer. I'm coming back to continue in semester, in, in year two of my studies, and I'm thinking about doing my masters. You want to give that idea that life continues here after the summer. And then that's just it. That's it. So guys, know your information. Know your information. And I can't turn up to people in interview and know nothing. Know your information. You need to know where you're going. What can pick you up? Who are you working for? How much I get paid per hour? What kind of work are you going to be doing? Your employer's name. What, uh, what state are you going to be in? Did I almost say parish? 
bad. You want to be sharp. Have all of those answers together. No, you want to come off as confident. You want to come off as sure. You don't want to be fidgeting and uh, and you, we, we know you're nervous, but don't show that to them. They're sharks out for blood. You don't want to show no crack in the foundation. You want to be sure. <laughs> Just make sure you say you yeah, know your information, guys. Know your information. You're gonna eat yourself if you don't get the visa because you don't know. Once you get paper or your address or even simple information like who come pick you up at the airport. Then we could think that no information guys. Apply early. And the reason I say this is because you want to apply early in order to avoid certain unforeseen circumstances. And me and Nasika can talk about that it's because in 2020 Nasika and I signed up for the work and travel program but the pandemic hit, but Nasika signed up way earlier than I did. And she ended up getting an interview in about February. And she got her J1 visa approved. And she was able to participate in the J1 work and travel program in 2020. And I did it because I applied later than Nasika. So the thing is, if you want to avoid any glitches, any unforeseen circumstances, anything, just apply early. Applying way earlier, it gives you more time to plan your summer, plan your flight, and you can take advantage of the, the cheap tickets and you know, all, all of that. So I think I will be doing another video on this, like how to uh, prepare for your flight and everything. So I'll talk more about booking your ticket and everything in part two of this video. My final tip to you guys is to have fun laugh enjoy the process because i know it can be a little daunting can be a little intimidating but you got this relax breathe you've got this guys and just to make it clear you know work at embassy you know nobody up there you know you know you know guilt these are none of them things there. but i'm sharing these tips because these are the tips that work for me and many other people and i believe they can help you as well the thing is to be prepared be as prepared as you can to ensure that you give yourself the best chance of getting that visa just to recap my bit yeah you want to be on time be confident you want to have all your documents mention nothing about money be concise be properly groomed that you have plans to continue life here no your information apply early have fun and enjoy the process with these tips you're guaranteed to at least make a little good impression for them to just say yes that's right we're gonna go ahead and approve your documents right now sure gone from playing okay you guys got this shane shout out to you for putting together this video i'm sure it will be very helpful and if you guys care to find me on any other platform it's at nasika aleman on it all twitter tiktok instagram all of it there's even my podcast the nasika nightly podcast is available on anchor on spotify on the google podcast on apple podcast on it all all right Make sure you say not tune in guys because she will discuss topical issues with a little humor, of course, with a lot of truth, fun. Later guys, hope this was fun and informative. See you guys next time. Maybe, she and what we do. Over to you. Uh, big up yourself, nuts. It's been a fun video. I was kind of uh, putting it off and everything, but you know, it's long overdue and I'm glad I got it done. So. Thank you all so much for subscribing. Thanks for sharing. Thanks for liking. Thank you for always supporting Shane Green. And I really and truly appreciate you all so much. Well, until next time, guys. See ya. Take care.